So guys, welcome to my lecture. In this lecture today, I'm going to discuss about simple tricks or mnemonics to remember cephalosporin classification. Okay, first I'm going to start with the introduction of cephalosporin and then I will describe the mnemonics or the tricks to remember the different drugs involved in the different classes of cephalosporin. Okay, let me begin the introduction. Uh, cephalosporins, they are beta-lactam antibiotics, which are originally derived from the fungus Acrimonium, which was previously known as Cephalosporium. Okay, so these Cephalosporins, what are these? These are antimicrobial agents. They, they have beta-lactam ring, that's why they are called beta-lactam antibiotics, and they are originally derived from the fungus Acrimonium, which was previously known as Cephalosporium. Okay, so what is this beta-lactam ring? The simplest structure of beta lactam ring is this here. So these cephalosporins, they have beta lactam ring, like the penicillins. They also have the beta lactam ring. Okay, so this here, actually, this picture here shows the uh, cephalosporin core structure. If you look at this structure carefully, you will see this beta lactam ring. Okay, so this, this ring, you'll be able to see it here. Okay, so that's why they are called beta-lactam antibiotics. So these cephalosporins, how do they function? Actually, the mechanism of action of cephalosporin is by the inhibition of bacterial cell wall synthesis. Okay, so they inhibit bacterial cell wall synthesis. Therefore, they have bactericidal effects, you know, they have bactericidal effects. So what they do is that basically they disrupt peptidoglycan synthesis which is required for the integrity of the cell wall of the bacteria, okay? Now, cephalosporins are classified into five different classes. And the mnemonics and the tricks to learn the drugs involved in each of the classes is what I'm going to discuss here. So, the five different classes of cephalosporins, they are first generation cephalosporin, second generation cephalosporin, third generation cephalosporin, fourth generation cephalosporins, and fifth generation cephalosporins. So the drugs in the first generation cephalosporin, the name of the drugs that are in the first generation of the cephalosporins, they have FA, shown by the red color here, FA, or PHA, or PHRA in their names, except cephachlor. Okay, so what is the trick? The trick is that the drugs that have in their names FA or PHA or PHRA, they belong to first generation of cephalosporin except this drug cephachlor. Okay, so the drugs are cephajolin, it has FA in its name, cephadroxyl, it has FA, cephalexin, shown by the red color PHA, cephaloridin, shown by the red color FA, Cephardin, Cephardin, okay, so this is PHRA shown by the red color and Cephalotin. So all of these drugs, they have FA or PHA or PHRA in their names. That's why they are first generation cephalosporins, except the drug Cephachlor, which belongs to the second generation of cephalosporin. Okay, so now. The drugs in the third generation of cephalosporin, their names end with IME or ONE or TEN, shown by the red color, IME or ON, ONE or TEN, except the drug cefuroxin, which is a second generation cephalosporin, okay, except this drug. So drugs in the third generation, they have IME or ONE or TEN in their names, except cefuroxin. Okay, so the drugs that belong to the third generation cephalosporin class are cefexim, ceftazidim, cefotaxim, ceftizoxin, cepodoxin, ceftraxone, cepoperazone, and ceftidutin. Okay, these, these all drugs, they either have IME or ONE or TEN in their names. They belong to third generation cephalosporin. Except this drug, cefuroxin, which belongs to the second generation 
and cephalosporin class. Okay, cefuroxin, this belongs to the second generation cephalosporin class. So, apart from these, there are two additional drugs that you need to memorize, cefdenir and moxalactam. They belong to third generation cephalosporin, okay, cefdenir and moxalactam. They don't fall under this rule, so you have to remember this, cefdenir and moxalactam. They are third generation cephalosporin. Now, coming to the fourth generation cephalosporin, the drugs which in their names have PI, they belong to fourth generation cephalosporin. So, fourth generation cephalosporin, they have PI in their names and the drugs are cefepim and cefepirom. Okay, cefepim, it has PI in its name and cefepirom, it has PI in its name. That's why they are fourth generation cephalosporin. And now finally, the fifth generation cephalosporin, the drugs that have ROL in their names, they are fifth generation cephalosporin. So, drugs belonging to fifth generation cephalosporin, they have ROL in their names. Okay, you see any drug which has ROL in its, in its name, then that cephalosporin is a fifth generation cephalosporin and the drugs are septobipirol, so ROL and ceftarolin. ROL, okay, septobipirol and ceftarolin. They are fifth generation cephalosporin. So, except these, you know, the remaining cephalosporins, they fall in second generation cephalos cephalosporin class and they are cepho, cephozetin, ceprozil, cephotitan, cefmetazole. Okay, so these are second generation cephalosporin. So, I will briefly uh, discuss the mnemonics again. So, drugs that have FA or PHA or PSRA in their names, they are first generation cephalosporin, like shown here, except the drug cephachlor, which is a second generation cephalosporin. And drugs in, in which, whose name, if they have IME or ONE or TEN, they belong to third generation cephalosporin class except cefuroxin, which is a second generation, okay? Cefuroxin is a second generation. And drugs that have PI in their names, they are fourth generation cephalosporins, for example, cefepim and cefpirone. And drugs that have ROL in their names are fifth generation cephalosporins, and they are ceftobipirole and ceftarolin. And rest of the drugs belong to second generation cephalosporin. Rest of the cephalosporins belong to second generation class. Thank you.